Today, it is prohibited, and you can Google this, to do a DNA test in Israel. Totally forbidden. Wrong. It's illegal. It's a crime. You'll be jailed if you do a DNA test in Israel. Why? Time I went to Israel and I stepped off the plane and the first thing that anyone said to me was welcome home. I wasn't told welcome home because my ancestors were from Israel. I was told welcome home because I'm Jewish. In the early morning, 130 Ukrainian Jews landed in Tel Aviv to begin a new life. For the righteous, they, are, they exist in the world to come and they're rewarded. And for those whose major complexion is black, are excluded from the world to come. Major complexion is black, are excluded from the world to come. Major complexion is black, are excluded from the world to come. They also have 130,000 Ethiopians. Now, in this case, the Ethiopians are Jewish, so it doesn't really matter. It's a Jewish state, so uh, they should be welcome, right? Well, not exactly. The health ministry has just admitted that they were doing forced sterilization of Ethiopian women, even though they're Jewish, as they were coming into the country. I mean, in fact, over the last 10 years, the birth rate among Ethiopians in Israel has dropped by 50%. Now, you don't have to speculate as to why, as I just told you, Israel's health minister has admitted they did the program, and in fact, he sent out a note saying not to renew prescriptions for Depo-Provra for women of Ethiopian origin if for any reason there is concern that they might not understand the ramifications of the treatment. I don't think the issue was that they didn't understand the ramifications of the treatment. The issue was as they were coming in, they were told they had to get that shot. Sometimes they were lied to and said, oh yeah, it's a vaccination and it's uh, gonna help you with your health. For the righteous, they, are, they exist in the world to come and they're rewarded. And for those whose major complexion is black, are excluded from the world to come. Told welcome home because I'm Jewish. Every single person who's Jewish that steps off the plane, especially for their first time in Israel, is told welcome home. Let's just sit with that for a second. As Jewish people scattered around the world had now emigrated in Europe and now were living in, in the Rhineland in Germany, they looked at the name Gomer in Genesis 10 and they connected Gomer with Germany so they took on the identity of the name Ashkenaz. It has nothing to do with Ashkenaz in the Bible. It's that simple. Just like my last name, Brown, doesn't refer to the color of my skin or anything else. It was shortened from a, from a Russian name when, when my grandfather came over uh, at Ellis Island. The name got shortened to Brown. It's just a name. That's all it is. So the idea that Ashkenazi Jews are descended from Yafet is a myth. 100% false. This right here, this is my actual ancestry. I am 88% Ashkenazi Jewish, and none of my ancestors are from the Middle East. And none of my ancestors are from the Middle East. Great question. The answer is, your Judaism is determined by your mother. If your mom's Jewish, you're Jewish according to traditional Judaism. Now you can have a very high count of D Jewish DNA, and that's awesome. That means you're connected to the Jewish people, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're Jewish. Don't forget, there are people that convert to Judaism and they have zero DNA and they're 100% Jewish. The land that is called Israel now is not my home. All the praises and the honor goes to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors to you, brethren. Honors uh, to the elect scattered abroad. Shalom to you, few sisters. Peace to the elect. I want to touch on this video real quick. This is actually kind of inspired off of Elder Apostle Tahar's video with. Um, Will Vocab Malone do a video on the Thomas Dexter uh, Bishop, Thomas Dexter, and his, you know, fling or affair with Diddy, something like that. And Mace, his partner at the time, started bringing all this stuff out and other people as well. So then I said, well, I saw this video popped up. This is by a, a brother. Uh, I don't know who, much of him. He exposes a lot of that, which you see in there. I don't do a lot of videos on that because every time I do, you know what happens, right? So I just felt that um, 
to bring some more clarification out of his platform and bring it to light in our platform, right? So this guy, Dr. Brown, says the Israelites were scattered across the world, right? But somehow they got themselves together in in Europe or in Russia or wherever else. And then the Lord put them there or did they put themselves there, right? This is what he's saying. And first of all, when you wake up as an identity as a people, you're the Israelites are people before a place, number one. But somehow it makes sense that you can claim to be this. I'm just trying to speak in a way that is understood, but not too much, right? So you put yourself in a place, but before 1948, right? You wasn't called what you're calling yourself. So the question would have to be, who the hell are you, right? Because if you was already called who you were before you got there, as this lady said, then who the hell are you? You can't be the people who originally inhabit that that place because you know who you are before you got there. And you were not calling yourselves that before you got there, right? I, I don't know if Vocab Malone will do a video on this. And this man who's saying that only black people no black people, people with black skin, they can't come in. But it's crazy because the Ethiopians, they're there. They're allowed to be there. And we'll get a scripture on that and why, right? But he said no black. So wait a minute, they're black. So why are they there? You know why? Because they're a different kind. There's different nations of black people. So this kind of lets you know, they know. <laughs> they know without a doubt and some of it he's even admitted it they know so let's go to Luke 8 and 17 for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest neither thing hid that shall not be known and come abroad this is the time we waking up now this, this is it so the more the more this folly comes out the more the lies come out right the more the deception now people are seeing. Now, at the end of the day, they label us and they put us on these particular lists. But how come they don't put themselves on that list? So that tells you who's in control of the list. Right? That's all I'm going to say about that part. Now, when you go to First Chronicles 17 and 9, right, it says, Also I, talking about who? The Lord will ordain a place for my people, Israel. He's saying, I will ordain a place for my people, Israel. See, this is clear. People, Israel is a people before it's even a place. And it says, and will plant them and they shall dwell in their place. Now we can precept this to Isaiah 14 and one. I will have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel, meaning the people. So it's clear to see how anybody can choose it like this Dr. Brown and say, Okay, it's him. So when you look at this, you can say, okay, this must be the people. But our people are so docile, they don't care. They're so broken. Somebody could say they're superior and they'll accept it. They don't care. And shall be moved no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness waste them any more as in the beginning. Right? So if this is the case, why is the situation total opposite of this? The Lord said he will plant them. And then the true Israelites, the children of wickedness, won't uh, waste them anymore. And then the children of Israel will look like many different nations. But let's see. And I heard one of them pull this scripture. Isaiah 49 and 22. They just won't read it to the rest of the people. These people are very cunning and crafty. Just like Genesis 25, right? Thus have the Lord um, power, right? Behold, I will lift up my hand unto the Gentiles and set up a standard to the people and they shall bring their sons in their arms and their daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers and their queens thy nursing mothers. What I want to get right here is they always stop. 
They don't read the rest. But I'm going to read the rest. And all of us in, in the know, especially in Great Millstone, we know the rest. Even one West, we all, we all know the rest. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet. Now the apologetic Christian will say, wait a minute, everybody can lay hold to the covenant, right? But for whatever reason, everybody can lay hold to it and anybody can be an Israelite through the flesh, I mean through the spirit, but why when these people say you can only be an Israelite this way, let me say that, that the Christian has nothing to say. Wonder what's up with that. In fact, the Christian will say those are the people because the real the the, the um um the the Christians they will side and sit with Dr. Dr. Brown, who claims that he's the people. So this is confusing. This man, Dr. Brown, says, we're the people, we're the real J's, right? We're the real ones. And he's allowed to say that. But somehow the Christian says, it doesn't matter of genealogy or whatever else, so that has nothing to do with it. So they, that, this is not making sense. The genealogy doesn't matter, has nothing to do with it. Anybody can be uh, 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 an, an Israelite. Uh, anybody can be grafted in. But see, Isaiah 49, they read this, by the way. And I wonder what Dr. Brown read this to Vocab Malone, and what is he going to say this means? I'm sure they'll figure out something and screw it around and try to make some kind of sense of it or say it already happened or whatever. I don't know. This is what they do. So in other words, we have a people who saying, who separating themselves as a race saying, look, it's us. And then you have Christians who say it's them. But when we speak up and say, well, wait a minute, it's us. Then they say it doesn't matter because God loves all and everybody be grafted in and everybody can be an Israelite. Just like with the, with the Jesus, right, which they don't even believe in. But the Messiah, Yahweh We say all these years we believe uh, the Messiah was a white man. And then we found out that's not the case. And then the Christians, they accepted Jesus being a white man. But now that we've exposed who the white man is and who the real Messiah is and what he looks like, now they say it doesn't matter. But somehow this Dr. Brown is like a Christian version of them. So you see the confusion? But then they would say, and this is why it's so confusing, and this is why the world is in so much turmoil, right? Because of Babylonian doctrine. So anyway, uh, I don't want to make this long. I just <laughs> wanted to touch on that. I thought this is really, really weird what Dr. Brown has said. And all of a sudden, they're supposed to be, if they're the people, then, and they also believe that, None of them are going to believe until the Messiah returns. This is real talk. I'm not making this up. Now, vocab and the Christians might say something different, but this is what I heard a lot of top Christians say. So this is crazy that the Christians are fighting against us, and these people will spit on them while they're walking with crosses, talk kind of, all kind of dogma to them, and really this, these, these people are talking to so-called black Christians too. And these black Christians will still sit up there and side with some of the ones who act like they're not a part of this and still subscribe to it. This is crazy. You know, now, before I close, the guy said something about um, they banning the DNA test. Well, first of all, you got to know what an Israelite is and what his markers are to be able to compare it. So you understand that the people that are in power can change and switch anything. They have the power to do it and the power to make you believe. Hell, that's what Hollywood is all about. They got a lot of magic, <laughs> especially on the left-hand side. So I don't really subscribe to a lot of that anyway. But they are trying to put it and say it's in certain traits of Africans and 
you know, well, let me say Ethiopians and because we all scattered. So I don't subscribe to it. But if they want to be part of it, then they can even say that they have the markers. And they can say, well, a couple other people have it too, but we're the real deal. That's how it goes, man. Um, Nahum 3 and 1 says, Woe to the bloody city is all full of lies. Uh, 2 Corinthians 2 says, We are not ignorant of Satan's designs. And that means his schemes. That's all I have on that. Shalom.